For me, the best part of a Bali vacay lies in beholding the magic of its beautiful nature. On land, in the water, the incredible sunsets. And then there's Bali's food inspirations. Desserts, fresh seafood, gourmet dining at just the most unbelievable prices. Hey guys, welcome to Lovina! <laughs> For me, this is the most restful stop in Bali that we've experienced because, you know, they're not even waves here. It's just so still and chill and peaceful. It's actually really mind-blowing because it's such a different vibe from the rest of Bali that we've experienced. Lovina is way north in Bali, almost a three-hour drive from Uluwatu where we live. So upon arrival, we jumped straight into the pool to cool down and appreciate the beauty of Lovina's incredible sunset from the lovely infinity pool on offer. Here is a tour of our superior garden view room at Puribagus Lovina. It's certainly not new, but the traditional Bali style room is well maintained and very comfortable and there's even a charming outdoor shower which I always appreciate. Okay, so we are in Lovina, so we decided we must have seafood for dinner. We ended up at Eric Dolphin Restaurant, a cheerful little beachside joint run by a super friendly Eric and family. So what's on the menu depends on their catch of the day, so it's always fresh. It looks amazing, oh my god! Thank you so much! So, as you can see, this is our seafood feast for the night. A lobster platter and a grilled fish platter with lots of assorted little side dishes and a crab done in soup. Eric and his family were most hospitable and very sweet and humorous and to our delight, the cooking is good. So important when it comes to fresh seafood. This was the best crispy calamari we have ever had in Bali so far. You can taste it's definitely fresh from the sea, but they managed to flash fry it so crispy while keeping the calamari inside still soft. The lobster was A star as well, grilled on the barbecue with garlic and butter. It was not overcooked at all, it was tender and aromatic and gorgeous. The generous assorted platter that came with the main seafood attraction includes crispy prawns, satay lilit, and crunchy veggie salad on the side. Overall, everything was just excellent, very tasty. The only thing was the crab, sadly. It was done soup style, which is fine, but the crab itself turned out to be a whole lot of shell and a bit of very strangely flaky crab meat. So we showed the flesh to Eric, and to our surprise, at the end of the meal, they actually took the crab off the bill. Vitali left a generous tip to make up for the difference, but we were very touched by their sincerity. the point of boarding a boat now to go out and hopefully catch some dolphins because that's what Lovina is very famous for dolphin sightseeing and you can even swim with them if you're lucky so we'll see how that goes <laughs> Hello. Hello. so we had to book this one night before and we decided on a private boat so the departure time was at our convenience which is so nice riding out the scenery from the boat is already gorgeous, so we were all in such a good mood. Okay, we're here. We're obviously not the only ones. Now we're only waiting for the dolphins to appear. <laughs> I mean, it's not a super sunny day. It's a bit cloudy, so clarity isn't the best. But fingers crossed. <laughs> oh! Oh, 
Okay, yeah, so we are like one bunch of boats circling around and the dolphins keep coming up to the surface, then they keep going back down. Oh my god! And it's quite cool when you see them, when you see some sightings, because they're like, you know, just like kind of like swimming out of the water. It's really cool. In the school, there's like a few of them at every time. So part of the attraction on offer is swimming with dolphins. They give you a nice snorkeling mask, you strap it on, jump right in, and then eventually hold on and we put our faces in the water and you're supposed to be able to see some of dolphins swimming around us underwater and we did, it's pretty cool, although rather tiring on the arms after a bit. The water clarity is just amazing by the way, despite the lack of sunshine and so many fishies. Yeah, okay, so we already slammed with the dolphins <laughs> and now it's time for snorkeling. <laughs> Okay, we made it! So we saw dolphins, we swam with dolphins, although you couldn't see so much when you actually swim with the dolphins. Um, and we snorkel, and it was actually all very, very nice. Now we're just here, finishing off our package. We're waiting for breakfast. <laughs> Banana pancake and ginger tea after snorkeling and boat trips. Let's have a Lovina has been a total blast. Like the package we took this morning for everything that we did was only 55 US dollars for three people. So it worked out to like less than $20 per person to actually get on a boat, go out there. The boat ride itself is super fun. And plus it includes drinks, a breakfast after, dolphins, <laughs> snorkeling, all the gear. And the people are super, super sweet. I'm very impressed by Lovina so far. The people are lovely, you know, they really care about you. They really want you to have a good time. It's very nice. <laughs> the other thing about lovely Lovina is that it's another one of Bali's black sand destinations. It's really quite unique and enchanting for a change. The black sands are from volcanic minerals and lava fragments because Bali is home to three active volcanoes. Another one of Bali's unmissable vacay activity is to indulge in some spa treatments. So that's what our mom decided on at the in-house spa at Puri Bagus. It's an outdoor spa, very charming and a good strong massage. Meantime, Vitali and I explored the beach and we just chilled and relaxed and did nothing. And then we enjoyed some fresh tropical juices. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be heading off for dinner at some place called Buddha Bakery and Resto here in Lovino. I hope it's gonna be good. Surprisingly, in the area, there are a handful of somewhat gourmet dining options for those looking for a finer meal than the standard cafe or warung options. We decided on Buddha Bakery and we were not disappointed at all. I had the Thai Tum Kha Gai as a starter and it was just chock full of veggies and chicken and really so comforting. The chicken cordon bleu is absolutely stunning. It's cheesy with veggies and there was salami wrapped in the chicken. Oh, it was so good. I'm just salivating at the thought of having it again. <laughs> What really made this place famous is its selection of cakes though. There's the chocolate peanut butter, and then there's the lemon cheesecake. 
beautifully put together and boy they tasted heavenly this was one of the best desserts we've had in a long while we were so pleased we were really really satisfied with this meal in Lovina and very very impressed that this was available as a dining option even though Lovina didn't seem particularly touristic you know or flooded with people for that matter Everywhere in rural Bali, the scenery is just beautiful and so therapeutic. We love greenery. And there's always new interesting botany discoveries to poke around when one's just strolling about really. Right, so about 17 minutes drive away from Lovina, where we were staying, um, there's a one of Bali's uh, very popular waterfalls called Aling Aling. Um, we made our way here, we're on the track right now. The scenery is breathtaking. This is the first of the platforms here, 5 meters high. Right, so this place actually looks incredibly awesome. Um, there are people just uh, coming up to the uh, hop-off point and just jumping the 5 meter cliffs. The waterfall is beautiful and the jumps actually look really really fun but we are kind of not prepared to do that today because we are with our mom. So maybe next time when we come here on our own. Uh, it's a really nice surprise that we are here on a Saturday morning right after Lebaran has just ended but there's actually not much of a crowd at all and it's so nice just to share the hall with my like, the jumps look super fun. We're definitely coming back at some point to give these a go. I'm so tempted. <laughs> Here at Aling Aling Waterfall, there's actually four falls. So there are three minor falls that are very, very pretty. And those are the ones that you encounter when you first walk down from the car park. And that's where you will do the jumping and the sliding. But the real Aling Aling is actually five minutes walk from there and it's supposed to be a big one. So a tip for visiting Aling Aling waterfall. So if you don't intend to actually swim or slide or jump and you just want to come and see the waterfall, take a nice hike, take some photos, it's actually only 20,000 rupiah per person for entry. It's only if you want to have a guide and they will help you to do all the sliding and the jumping and show you where to go and guide you and give you like life jackets and whatever you need then it's 125,000 per person and the guys are all super nice so I think it's uh, you know it's actually very good value for money I think <laughs> it's quite a hike at some points it's generally still a nice path but yeah super beautiful nature So we were wondering whether we might need shoes for this track but actually all of us are in flip blocks and I think that's a better option. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. <laughs>
Guys, thank you for staying with us throughout our exploration of Lovina and its surrounding attractions. This has been a wonderful time and I feel like I really needed, you know, this period of like rest and solitude and quiet for my soul. I mean, yeah, we live in Uluwatu, not Changpu, but even then it still gets pretty busy with everything we have going on, you know, our dogs and our lives and everything. This has been a wonderful gallery. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did, as well as going on us with our little adventures here and there. Um, take care, stay chill, and I'll see you next week.